everyone. Hi, hi. Thanks for coming to the uh, second annual Lafayette Funstival. Uh, we want to thank you for taking your time to come out here. So before we get started, this is a joint collaboration with us and the Purdue Dance Marathon, and we're trying to raise money uh, for the Riley Hospital for Children. And to tell you a little bit more about it, I'm going to bring on Kyle from the Purdue Dance Marathon, and he's going to tell you a little bit more about it. What's going on, everybody? So I'm going to tell you a little bit about Purdue Dance Marathon. Uh, this isn't where the funny stuff starts. That's a little bit later. Um, so basically, Purdue Dance Marathon is an 18-hour dance marathon in November. And uh, our, our mission is to raise funds and awareness for Riley Hospital for Children and for children's hospitals all across the, the nation. Um, so specifically, our dance marathon benefits Riley Hospital, which I said. And uh, what the funds specifically go to, if you choose to donate today, is uh, the first $40,000 raised um, goes to sending a kid to summer camp. Um, and these, ki these summer camps are for ki uh, kids with disabilities and other... Um, so basically getting the kids in an environment where they're, where, with kids with a like interest. Um, and then the next 60% uh, of the money goes to cancer research. So even if you're not from Indiana and you don't know someone that's been personally affected by Riley Hospital, it goes towards cancer research, something that we can all agree upon is something that's a good cause. And then uh, the next 40% uh, goes to the general benefit of the hospital. So if you are from Indiana um, and you do have been affected by Riley Hospital for Children, that's where that comes into play. So I just wanted to thank Ad Liberation and everyone else out here tonight for uh, helping us out and throwing on this great event for us. And uh, thank you guys for coming out and supporting Riley Hospital as well as these wonderful uh, comedy acts that are about, you're about, you are about to see. And uh, here's Matt. All right, let's give it up for Kyle. All right, so we're going to get this started with our first group, which is One Size Fits All. They're from Lafayette. You can see them once every Friday uh, at the Lafayette Brew Co. if you're of age. But let's give a big round of applause for One Size Fits All. No, 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 keep clapping, keep clapping, keep clapping. There you go. Very nice. They follow the directions. We've got a good crowd up here. Welcome to the second Sorry. annual Lafayette Funstival. We are One Size Fits All, the longest running improv comedy troupe in the history of Tippecano County. Hooray! What we're gonna do is we've warmed ourselves up. We're gonna warm you up. I need everybody to stand up, please. Everybody up, everybody up, everybody up. If you're in the back three rows, please come forward because comedy is all about sweat and saliva. And if you see a sweat on you, you'll be laughing a lot more. So people in the back, come forward. We're gonna be warming you up with a game where we have, it's called Samurai. I am a samurai. This is my magical samurai sword. Your purpose is, what you need to do is avoid the sword. So if I swing it down at your feet like this, you're gonna, very nice, right there, the guy got it, wonderful. If I swing it over your head like this, good. Here's where it gets tricky. If I swing it diagonally like this, nice, I, not very well done there. If I swing it like this, She's been killed four good. times. Good. Four times she's been killed. You've died four times? Oh, you're in deep trouble here. Finally, at the very end, I'll be giving you a death stroke. Just directly, directly right into your chest. At which point, you will have a horrible death rattle, screaming, shuddering for 10 seconds, and then sitting down. Make sense? Wonderful, excellent. So, here we go. And... I got half of you. <laughs> and... And nice and loud, people! Wow, three of you didn't die, bad audience members. Now, uh, the first game we're going to be playing is one that we call Pimp Orchestra. I need to send the three players out. Please, I need Matt to come up here for a second, please. Matt, our wonderful host. Give him a round of applause. All right, I need a helper. Oh, there we go. So, yes, round of applause, please, for our organizer tonight. What's going to happen is these players will be performing a scene for you. At any point in the scene, I'll be saying freeze and give them different characteristics to take on during the course of the scene. What I need from you are some characteristics. From this side over here, give me some physical traits like uh, walks with a limp, 
or shakes the head constantly. So some physical traits, please. Can't stop clapping. Can't stop clapping there. <laughs> That's actually quite good. Itchy and, foot. What? Itchy foot. Itchy foot. Just go ahead and yell them out. Anybody at all. Physical traits. Eye patch. Eye patch. Can't stop twerking. <laughs> Can't stop twerking. Very nice. I have no idea and I really don't care either. Anything else physical? Physical. Compulsive hand washing. Compulsive hand washing. Very good. How about something that, that's, that's actually exhausting, like constantly somersaulting? Something like that. Constantly somersaulting. Constantly somersaulting. <laughs> well done. Um, anything else physical? Putting in your contacts. Putting in your contacts. Very good. Anything else? Car what? Car wheels. Car wheels. <laughs> Evil. <laughs> nice. Um, give me some visual traits like stuttering or um, only speaks in jingle. So something verbal. Can't use the letter S. Can't use the letter S. What's that down here? Speaks gibberish. Gibberish. Very good. Anything else? More, more, more verbal stuff. French accent. Did, what, what, what was the background? French accent. French accent. Very nice. Excellent. Give me some more accents too. Very nice. Some more accents. Only quotes bad movies. movies. Watches fat movies? What? <laughs> Peruvian, what's over there? Movies. Watches bad movies. Bad movies, very good. Anything else as far as verbal as well? Speaks in Pig Latin. Speaks in Pig Latin. Erevei Eisne. <laughs> yeah, right? Oh. Yeah. They didn't catch that. That was supposed to be funny. But anyway, <laughs> uh, finally, give me some um, people from history, world history. And please don't say Hitler. Hitler was a fuckhead. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh, what? Gandhi. Gandhi, very good. Oh, thank you. Over here. Ava Braun. Ava Braun. <laughs> she was a fuckheadette. <laughs> but we'll take Ava Braun. Some more, some, some more from world history. Joan Hill. Who? Joan of Arc. Joan of Arc, thank you. Some from American history. <laughs> American Joan history. Hill. Jesus. Abraham Lincoln, very good. Give me some instantly recognizable celebrities from today. George Clooney. George Clooney, very good. More. Kanye West. Kanye West. Jesus. Because Jesus is everywhere. Excellent. Good. Kermit the Frog. Kermit the Frog. Very nice. Perfect. What we're going to do, and let's give a round of applause, please, for Matt. We're going to call the players on the count of three. Yell out, players. One, two, three. Players! And here they come, Mr. Mark Zulonek, Mr. Mark Fernandez, and Mr. Bill Ross, a round of applause, please, for one size fits all. <laughs> Gentlemen, I have several suggestions. During the course of this scene, I'm going to say freeze. I'll be giving you a specific uh, command, such as Martin, freeze, you're now a chicken. Okay? But it won't be that. Here's the thing, we need to get a scene for these guys. Give me something that a person would do traditionally during Halloween, except for trick-or-treating. Bob Perhaps, Haunted House. You know, we get Bob Perhaps a lot too. I like that, but we get Bob Perhaps a lot. But Haunted House? Haunted House, very good. And um, let's, yeah, let's just, let's leave it at Haunted House. So players, Haunted House, this is the game of Pimp Orchestra. Audience, are you ready? Yeah. Players, are you ready? Hey. Here we go. All right, we gotta make it really, really scary this time. How do you like these gloves? How do you like these gloves? They're That's... purple. Well, yeah, they're purple. <laughs> Come Freeze. on, they gotta be scary! Freeze! Mark, you cannot stop clapping. I grimace! I love being grimace! It's grimace! Come on! We've gotta be scary this year! Have you ever thought about being trapped in a car with grimace on a long road trip? How scary is that? Oh, I don't know. I don't know if that's gonna work at all. Do you even know who grimace is? He's the McDonald's guy, the big purple guy. He's purple! No, Freeze! Purple. Mark, you're speaking in a French accent. Oh, he's purple! Of course I know who he is! Ho ho ho! <laughs> well, alright. So I like the hamburger, yeah! <laughs> of course you would, you're French! Freeze! Mark, you can stop constantly clapping. Yeah. However, you are now uh, Abraham Lincoln. <laughs> and I say that Grimace will be accepted by all and cause freedom. Well, you're scary enough, that's for sure. Hello! Hello! Good sir. I'm here. This is all Abraham Lincoln does, by the way. He puts his- <laughs> Freeze! <laughs> Bill, you can't stop twerking. <laughs> Mark, along with being- along with, Mark, along with being Abe Lincoln, you, um, are- you, you're a compulsive hand washer. And Mark, along with being a French accent, um, you're gonna be doing cartwheels constantly. Uh, go! <laughs> I thought you were really Abraham Lincoln. Well. But then I was like, he's totally been dead for a while, so that's not him. Come on, guys, we have to get ready! The secret to long life 
is to wash your hands frequently. <laughs> I think I really this would be a great haunted house if we could get together and think about scary things. I've got a disease I don't really want to live forever. <laughs> Four score and seven minutes ago, this house was prepared to open. Freeze! All of you are completely free and clear. However, Martin, you are now Kermit the Frog. Mark, you cannot use the letter S and Bill. Um, you're Gandhi. <laughs> Hi-ho! What are we gonna do here? Thou art prepared for the opening of the place? I was supposed to bring the cobwebs. I've brought them. I think we should just let people go through the haunted house, and if they're scared, they're scared. <laughs> and ladies and gentlemen, that is how you play the game of Pimple Up and Start. Round of applause for the players. The next game we're going to be playing is one that we call Dating Game 2. And this game, we have got... Uh, something for all three players. We've got two people dating and one person being a waiter. Who will be the waiter for tonight, please? Very nice. So let's send all three players oh, out of the scene. They're leaving this agent awful lot. They're very lazy players. Very good. So here's the thing. Martin and Mark are on a date. Martin is a famous door is shut TV character. Um, give me a famous TV character. Walter White. <laughs> Martin's a teacher, actually. That's kind of frightening. So let's. Um, think, but keep, keep going at it. What else? Barney Stinson. Who? Barney Stinson. Barney Rubble. Barney <laughs> <laughs> Dinosaur. He no, kind of looks like Barney Rubble, doesn't he? Martin is Barney Rubble. Nicholas Cage. Peter Griffin. Nicholas Cage. Barney Rubble. Wow. Good. And uh, Mark is a character from history. Anybody from history? Come over here, please. You five right here. You guys have been good and nice. So a character, from, a person from history. History is something that's happened in the past. <laughs> Napoleon. Napoleon. Um, anything else? Because once again, the whole fuck. Margaret head. Thatcher. Margaret Thatcher. Oh, okay. <laughs> Margaret Thatcher. Very good. And finally, from this section over here. Hello, section over here. Hi. Woo! Give me a location for this date that you wouldn't normally have a date, like the belly of a whale or inside a, a, a police the box. The bell tower in the hunchback of Notre Dame. The, the what? The bell tower in the hunchback of Notre Dame. A lava factory. That's wonderful. That's great. <laughs> <laughs> oh, inside a lava lamp? Is there a lava lamp? A lava lamp, yeah. Very good. Well, okay, great. <laughs> we'll do lava lamp because I think it's funny. Uh, let's call the players on Catherine by yelling out dating. One, two, three. Dating! dating. Round of applause, please, for one size fits all. And right now, guys, tell jokes while I give you guys this information. So, over here. Oh. Um. Now, I'm Martin. Boo. 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 This part of it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't cry. Bill, come here. Thank you. <laughs> and now here's Mark's attempt. Oh, what are we doing? <laughs> Throwing you under the bus. Oh, okay. Uh, hey. <laughs> so these two cannibals are sitting there, and uh, the one cannibal says, you know, I really, really, really hate my mother-in-law. The other cannibal says, well, try the potatoes. <laughs> I do, I, that's the best I got. What do you got? Knock, knock. Knock, knock. So another cannibal, he shows up and he says, am I late? And the other cannibal says, yes, everyone's eating. Uh, oh. Not much of the cannibal jokes, I guess. Usually those are killer. What? what did I tell you before? <laughs> <laughs> he kind of messed up. Good, good. good. No, that's for good. real. Good. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah. Yay! We need more people. No, we don't need more people. We need a good MC. Oh. So, ladies and gentlemen, this is a game of dating game. Two players, are you ready? Ready! ready. Audience, are you ready? Ready! Audience, are you ready? Ready! Dating game two. 
Oh, hey, hey, hey. hey. Hi there. Am, hey. I, am I okay? Is it, am I on time? I'm sure, yeah. You're okay, great. Good, good. Well, yabba dabba do. I know. It's a little later than tea time, so I was a little worried that maybe perhaps, uh, you know, it would be too late for you. So. Oh, no, no, no. After four, I'm, I'm usually a, a night owl anyway, yeah. so that's, that's no problem there. Yeah. I, I have a, this is going to sound like a strange question for you, but I've always wondered, given, you know, what they call you, uh, and given the weather over there, why you don't rust. Um, well, it's because I have this new, uh, new lacquer. Okay. Well, yeah. All right. Lacquer's good. Lacquer. Yeah. Hey, hello there. Hey, welcome. Can I take your order? Drink order? You know, it's pretty cool in here. Can you turn uh, up the heat? I probably can. I'll have to talk to my manager if you don't okay. let me do anything on my own. All right. Um, should you be here? Don't you have a wife at home? Well, uh, we, uh, we have an understanding. Your call. Your call. Right. Can I get you something to drink? Yes. Yes, yes you can. Okay, I'll Thank get you, you something to drink. Uh, dude, how's it going? It's going well. I, oh, I get you couldn't possibly be dating. I, I'm sorry, I didn't realize. Go ahead. Oh, all right, well, uh, I think uh, I will have a non-alcoholic beverage, please. Wow, very specific. Uh, I'll get yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, great. <laughs> So uh, tell me a little bit about how it was to uh, deal with Ronald Reagan, because that has to be your favorite thing, right? Well, Ron, uh, you know, when he was an actor, he was great, yeah, okay? He yeah. was really, really good, you know? I don't go as far back as the prehistoric age or anything like that, <laughs> but, uh, you know, it, it was it was a lot of fun. Didn't like the shooting thing. Shooting thing was, yeah, was no, not good either. No, uh, I didn't like that much. Tell me. Yeah. Fred. Yes. He's he okay. on the up and up, or is you he You know what? Little... He yells a lot. Yes, he, yells he does. A... He yells when he gets up in the morning. He yells when he gets off work. He yells when he's driving his car. Uh, frankly, you know, uh, the kids and I are sick of it. Yeah, We're tired I, of it. I would, I would tired say so, too. You know? yeah. And he rocks out a lot. Huh? See what I did there? <laughs> Non-specific beverage? Yes. Non-specific beverage, which is non-alcoholic. <laughs> Can I go ahead and take you... Um, uh, the sores on your feet are bleeding. Really? Yeah, um, I don't know if you could just bleed in a specific area so I can clean it up later. Oh, I'll try to help Thanks you out for, there. Excuse Thanks me, for stopping fast. Excuse me, sir. I have a little floaty that's just moving around. Did you not want in that there? in your non-specific no, I, beverage? No, I would not want that. It's in, changing in shape. It is. That is pretty it? neat. It's sort of weird. <laughs> Thank you. I'll hold on to that. Can I go ahead and uh, take your order of some kind of non-specific food? Yes. Yes, yes. She she will have uh, uh, fish and chips with mushy peas. Okay. we will have a uh, brontosaurus burger. <laughs> okay, brontosaurus burger. If you mushy attach peas. it to the side of my car, that would be perfect. I'll do that. Okay, Thank thanks. You. So, um, there has to be other things about you that I should know. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be great. Yes, I it mean, would. Love yes, the guessing it, part it of the would, thing. It yeah. would. Um, do, you, do, you, do you have any favorite numbers? Perhaps any prime numbers? <clears throat> oh, gosh, I'm an English teacher. I don't know. I, uh, you taught English, really? That's uh, very yes, that's, I did not yes. know that about well, you. No, it's the British good. English that I, I teach. See. Yeah, all right, yeah all right. British English. You and, know, so uh, it's the real English. But you've done a lot of things that I should be aware of, I think. Yeah, probably. I mean, you were there for like several years, and I, I don't remember any, anything about <laughs> that. Things that round you did. And round. We just keep going round and Great. round, don't we? Yeah, yeah, we did. Yeah. Here, this is for your car. <laughs> Are you okay? I would get up, but it's I don't fine. care that you it's fell. It's fine. The uh, <laughs> Brontosaurus burger is it's very large. Very large. So, uh, yeah. So, you know, <laughs> tell me. Uh, just, uh, <laughs> you, you, you. <laughs> oh, jeez. And this is how you play dating uh, games. No, it's not. Sort of. Round of applause for players. Yeah. <laughs> this is a guessing game. Oh, and by the way, the audience. So, um, Bill, you were the waiter. You did not know the location of the date at the very beginning. Where do we have this date, please? No, I still don't know. <laughs> Where was it, audience? Lava Land. Yeah, yeah definitely. Well, I thought it was hell. Yeah, well, you know, they have a lot of floaty things in hell. It's true. No, it turned into a really quick scene. Uh, Martin, you did not know who you were. Who were you in this? Why did you go with Mark first? <laughs> Let's go with you, Martin. I am going to say that I was um, I was in the West End's version of The Wizard of Oz, and I was the Tin Man. 
<laughs> so close, but not quite. Audience, who was Martin? Margaret Thatcher. Iron Lady. Oh, so I I okay. okay. Right. And finally, okay. Mark. You didn't know who you were. Who were you in this date? Well, I was either Barney Rubble. You can choose one of the. You can choose only one. There's choose some, that don't, one. Don't, don't me either. Then or. I'm going to be Barney Rubble. Very good, everyone. Yeah. Once again, date in game two. Uh, the next show I'm going to be playing is one that we call Moving Bodies. We actually need two audience volunteers. Can we have someone? Oh, right up here for one. Can I get another audience volunteer, please, for Moving Bodies? In this game, these two guys are kind of like uh, puppets. They don't move until you move them around. Would someone raise their hand in the very back? Very back? Come on up, very back. Round of applause, please, for our volunteers. <laughs> Volunteer one, what's your name, please? Sai. Pardon? Sai. Everybody, this is Sai. Hi, Sai. Yeah, that's right. Hi, Sai. And your name, please? Chris. Very good, Chris. Sai, by the pleasure of explaining the game is played. Now, what's going to happen? I'll be getting from you a scene, a scenario for our players to act out. Once again, though, they're kind of like marionettes. They cannot move unless these two volunteers actually move them. So they'll be literally like, you know, puppets, and they'll be moved around by our volunteers. So during the course of the scene, that's the only way they can move at all. What I need now is a very, uh, give me a favorite um, non-professional sport. Three people say curling, and we're here at Indiana. That's great. What else would be? What else? Darts. You Quidditch. Jarts? Yeah. Darts. <laughs> Calvin Ball. <laughs> what again back in the very back? Calvin Ball. Calvin Ball, which is we all know there are no rules at all to Calvin Ball, Calvin and Hobbs. Would you know what we'll do that? That's great. So, players, you are going to be playing the sport of Calvin Ball from the uh, TV from the TV strip, from the comic strip Calvin and Hobbs. There are absolutely no rules to Calvin Ball. Once again, players, you can move only when our two volunteers move you. So this is the game of moving bodies. Players, are you ready? Ready! ready. Audience, are you ready? Ready! Here we go. All right, are you ready to play? Yeah, go ahead. Pitch it to me. All right. I'm going to kick it. Here we hand. go. I'm going to throw it. Ah! Oh, threw it to the ground. <laughs> that I'll, worked. You get one point. Wait, I'll pick it up. There it is. There. Thanks. I caught it. I'm getting another point. All right, I'm going to move back now. <laughs> Throw it to me. Sorry, I already hate it. <laughs> oh, I no, just shit it out. I've got it now. Field goal. Hey, Calvin. Calvin. Calvin, it's Susie. I want to play whatever it is you're playing. What are you playing? <laughs> I'm playing. Are girls, can girls play? Yes, they can play. Good, because I want to play. You, How do you play? Well, we're going to hold hands for a while. I don't know if I want to play anymore. <laughs> no, we're not. Okay. All right. Did I just get a point for that? You did get a point. Congratulations. You're ahead. Oh, I think That's I just threw my great. prayer at you. Oh, awesome. <laughs> I got that with my face. I get an extra point. I'll rub it and throw it is what I'll do. There. There. I just threw it. I really wish I could see you guys, though. <laughs> Oh, there you are! So tell me a little bit about this game. What do we do? You're already ahead. You know how to play. Well, uh, you think that was... Okay. And then... We're going to come this way. All right. <laughs> how many points did I get for that? Six points. You're still leading. You really kicked ass at this game. <laughs> did you see that? Now it's up in the air. Watch. It's still there. Catch it. We're going to catch it together. Like a, like a dove. And that's how you play in the movie. Well done, thank you so much. <laughs> the final game we'll be playing for tonight is one that we call Deleted Scenes. It's one where we come to you, our audience members, for various movies, and we give you scenes that never show up in the final cut. So this is for all four players. Um, we need, um, well, let's just start off with uh, a instantly recognizable uh, contemporary movie. Back to the Future. Back to the Future. Contemporary. <laughs> <laughs> Any particular version from the trilogy, sir? One, two, or three? One. Wow, nice classic. So, Back to the Future, players. Deleted scenes. Players, are you ready? Ready! ready. Audience, are you ready? ready? Here we go. Deleted scenes. I'm going to go back in time. Oh, oh, or die from poisoning. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> it was It wasn't actually in the it's right. Hello. Uh, Let's uh, get it. 
Stick with it. That worked really well. So let's try a classic movie. A classic movie. And Lord of the Rings. Okay. Here's the thing, like movies that are from like the 1980s aren't really classic. Anyway, I heard Citizen Kane, I think, in the back, right? I heard Citizen Kane. So, from Citizen Kane. Oh, could someone get my sled? Its name is Rosebud. That's the and only that's joke Citizen Kane. they do about Citizen Very Kane. good. Uh, I also heard, I think, um, uh, Lord of the Rings, right? Yes, sir. Lord of the Rings, Lord of the Rings. Here we go. And I've decided we're going to ride the eagles to Mount Doom. We should be there in about a half hour. We'll be fine. All right. Everybody mount up. <laughs> wow, we're doing great tonight. Some more movies, please. And a thousand. Oh, right. <laughs> what? What over here? What over here? Godfather. The Godfather. Very good. The Godfather. So you see, if you buy two, you get three. You cannot refuse this <laughs> offer. That is fantastic. I will take six. <laughs> oh my god, a horse head. I've always wanted a dead horse in my bed. <laughs> Another movie, please. Something. Jurassic Park. Jurassic Park? Yeah. Jurassic Park. Here we go. You can see us at Lafayette Brewing Company on the third Friday of each month, or all sets of Gary Lafayette. Enjoy your night. <laughs> 